Hey guys, welcome to another interesting episode of our classes. We are going to be dwelling on your spermatophyta. Oh yes, so this class is all about spermatophyta for jump as well as your work. Are you ready? This is our lesson 14, right? And in this lesson 14, we are going to look at everything that we should know about spermatophytes. First and foremost, your spermatophyta, we call them spermatophytes. And the quick question is, what are spermatophytes? Very simple. Just tell us that spermatophytes are the what? The seed bearing or the seed producing plants. So another name for your seed bearing or seed producing plants, what are they called? They are called the spermatophytes. But the phylum is called phylum what? Spermatophyta. So let's go. What to go? What are spermatophytes? Spermatophytes are also known as the seed bearing or the seed producing plants. In other words, they are capable of producing seed. Okay. Can I show you something? Don't forget that the word spermatophytes is gotten from two words. And what are the two words that we got it from? Number one is called your sperma. Spermatophytes. Sperma. That's number one. The second word is called your what? Your fighter. 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 It's very easy. Anytime you hear the word fighter, the word fighter, it means what? Plants. So what does the word fighter mean? Plants. You know, a lot of people now, they will now ask them, what does the word sperm mean? You know, yes, sperm means sperm. No try and name me, you. <laughs> sperm does not mean sperm. No. Sperm means what? Seed. The word sperm means seed. So when you hear the word spermatophytes or spermatophyta, what are they? They are the seed producing or the seed bearing plants. Simple. That's how we got the word. So what to go? What are the uh, what is the meaning of the word spermatophyte? We said that spermatophyte, they also called your what your seed bearing or your what seed producing plants. And spermatophytes are gotten from two words. What are the two words? Yes, sperma and phyta. The word sperma means what seed, phyta means what plant. Hence, spermatophytes are the seed bearing or the seed producing plants. But Please don't forget this. Spermatophyta, right, is divided into two. Or we can say spermatophytes are divided into two. What are the two of them? Number one is called the gymnosperms. Gymnosperms, also called your gymnospermy. Be pronouncing them with me. Gymnosperms, we are talking gymnosperms, also called your what? Your gymnospermy, M A E. Gymnospermy. Whether you say gymnosperm or your gymnospermy, they are the same thing. Or your angiosperms as well as your what? Um, your angiosperms or your what? Your angiospermy. So your spermatophytes are divided into two. Your gymnosperms or the gymnospermy. And the angiosperms or the what? Angiospermy. So we're going to dwell and treat them one after the other. So as we proceed, we're going to learn your gymnosperm first as a separate class. And then we're going to learn your angiosperm nest as a separate lesson and look at everything and treat all their past questions under them. But again, your spermatophyta, I mean, are they divided into two? Your gymnosperm, which are the gymnosperms, and the angiosperm, which are the words angiosperms. You get that, Baba? Look at past questions under this fast, fast. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. First, they brought this question in Jam 1991, question 3. We had Jam brought this interesting question that says, want to go, angiosperms and gymnosperms belong to the plant group known as that. Angiosperm and gymnosperm, which plant group do they belong to? That plant group they're asking us is the phylum. Option A says, is it the schizophytes? Schizophytes. You know, schizophytes are the bacteria. Option B says, is it the bryophyta? Your bryophyta. What are the popular examples of your bryophyta? Your mosses, your liver, what, and your own what, right? And then option C went ahead to say, okay, is it the pteridophytes? No, pteridophytes are popularly called your fans, right? 
And then option D now say that your spermatophytes. Spermatophytes, how many are they? There are two. The angiosperms and the genosperms. So what is the correct answer? Of course, option what? D is the correct answer. Simple. And don't forget we said that spermatophytes, um, spermatophyta or spermatophyta, they are gotten from two words. What are the two words there? Sperma and phyta. The word sperma means what? Seed. Phyta means what? Plant. So your seed producing plant or your seed bearing plant are called the what? Spermatophytes, which are the angiosperms and the what? Gymnosperms. Okay. Look at another question. 2005, right? Question four. They brought the question again. And the question say, angiosperm and gymnosperm belong to the class. Now, imagine they now bring this now in this your jam and somebody now feel it. Person is unserious now. They have repeated it severally. Angiosperms and gymnosperm, they belong to the class. Which class? Are they the spermatophyta? Are they the pteridophytes? Or they are the bryophytes? Or they are the what? Dermatophytes. There is nothing like dermatophytes. Bryophytes are the what? Mosses, liver, what on what? Pteridophytes. What are they? Fans, right? And they are popularly called your vascular cryptogams because they have vascular bundles and they still produce spores. They are the most advanced of all your spore producing plants, which are the pteridophytes here. What is the correct answer to this question? And your sperm and genosperm, they belong to your what? Your spermatophyta. Option A is the answer. You are out of there, bro. Look at another powerful question. Jam 2011 question 4. Back down, they brought this sweet question in 2011. Seed plants are divided into... Seed plants. Seed plants are divided into... Option A says your monocotyledons and your what? Your dicotyledons. Your monocotyledons and dicotyledons. Option B says your talophyte and your bryophyte. If you watch, I've not said anything yet in the teaching about your monocotyledons and your what? Your dicotyledons. We are going to get there shortly. Because your monocotyledons and your dicotyledons, they are directly under your what? Angiosperms. Your angiosperms, which are the flowering plants, are divided into two. Your monocots and your dicots. Or monocotyledonia, as well as the what? Dicotyledonia. Your talophyte and your bryophyte. No, it can never be the two divisions of your seed plants because they have spores, not seed. Option C says tracheophytes and ferns. That cannot be it. Option D now went ahead to say angiosperms and gymnosperms. What is the answer? Angiosperms and gymnosperms. Option what? D is the answer. Come. If you hear the word your tracheophytes, what are they? Loose listen. Under the classification of plants, you can also group plants into your atracheophyta or the atracheophytes and the tracheophytes. The tracheophytes are the plants that have vascular what? Bundles. And you know that vascular bundles in plants start from pteridophytes. So we can say that your pteridophytes as well as the spermatophytes, they are the tracheophytes. Yes. In tracheophytes are the schizophytes, the talophytes, and the what? Bryophyta. Simple. You are out of there. But anyway, jam don't really stress with your tracheophytes and your tracheophytes. But nonetheless, just know it. I like you not to forget this. Look at your question four. Jam 2014 question 10. Jam presented us with this question. And the question said, seed plants are the most dominant vegetation on land because of seed plants. And the seed plants are the gymnosperms and angiosperms, right? They are the most dominant on land. Why? Option A says, they are motile gametes. Meaning, you are telling us that their gametes move, right? That's wrong. No. Which ones will we say there is motility in terms of their gametes? They are majorly the bryophytes, right? As well as the pteridophytes, where their sperms, which are called the anterozoids, have the ability to move by being carried by water to go and fertilize the egg that is inside the archegonium, right? Here, yeah, I've explained those things. Okay, option B went ahead to say the ability to photosynthesize. Photosynthesis does not have anything to do with dominance. Because, in fact, your bryophytes, they photosynthesize. Teridophyte, they photo those guys, they photosynthesize. Option C says, efficient seed dispersal. Efficient seed dispersal. Option D now says, availability of water. Listen carefully. Seed plants are the most dominant vegetation on land today. Because why? They have efficient seed dispersal. What is the answer? Option what? C become the correct answer. And you're out of there. Again, seed plants, why are they the most dominant? 
because of their what efficiency dispersal. That's the answer, and you're out of there. If you get that very quickly, with really, bro, no stress. Guess what? Don't ever forget this. Now, when we talk about your seed plants, please, they have efficient seed dispersal, and that is what allowed them. Um, that's what allow your seed plants majorly to spread to a wide range of environments. Are you getting it? And they now establish themselves in various habitats, and that is what contribute to their dominance on land. They spread because of their what dispersal mechanism. If you get that, bro, that's everything about your spermatophytes. Guess what, bro? I'll see you in gymnosperms. Don't forget that we said that your spermatophytes are divided into two: your gymnosperms and the angiosperms. Is it that you call it gymnosperms or the gymnospermy? As well as the word angiospermy. So our next lesson, which is lesson fifteen. All about what and juice peps. I'll see you there. One love for the now. Peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye bye.